Good day, good day! How the honk are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? All right, all right, all right. Welcome to a one of Wednesday here on Roverland. This is your friend Dan O. How you doing today? Hopefully, ha uh, happy hump day is going good for you. We are going to be talking about these little buggers. But, being a one of Wednesday, we're going to talk about this one. Yes, this is the one we're going to talk about. This is the newest, latest, greatest release by the Matchbox. Yes, Matchbox. Um, you know, these aren't really numbered or anything like that, I guess. Well, I guess there's a 45 of 100. But this is the 1965 Land Rover Gen 2. And I uh, have been uh, doing pretty good scoring these. Um, help with uh, some uh, of my die-cast meat guys and uh, myself. Yeah, we're doing doing all right. So... I think the whole shipping bagoggle thing is going away, and uh, yeah, this is uh, going to work out. I hope that's not an error. Let's kind of see how that front wheel is kind of smashed in there. Hmm, I know that goofed up card there, but boy, I just noticed that. What do you guys think? Hmm. Well, we're going to go for it. <laughs> How's that? All right. Uh, let's get these open then so that we can take a look at them. All right. Got the handy dandy box cutter. Remember, kids, do not open these with the box cutter. If you do, get your parents to do it so then uh, you don't cut your fingers. Your parents cut their fingers and then you're safe. <laughs> All right. One box open and cut, ready to go. Another box. Ugh. Open and ready to go. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to go in order here and we're going to do the uh, traditional Land Rover um, series uh, safari top to it. All right, let's get that one opened up here. Yeah, there's the rest of the packaging, little uh, dotted line to the mountains, but uh, really kind of cool graphics there. Interesting wheel choice, interesting wheel choice. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, but bam, there we go. <laughs> we got to get it going here. Uh, zebra stripes with the Land Rover on the uh, front door and Matchbox Safari with a little globe and a little, uh, indicators there. Very, very nice. Here we have the black wheels. They, they all have the same wheels, but this one now has got a gold rim around the uh, the um, wheel, the uh, rim. So first things first, um, so this doesn't have an interior because you know the the, the piece count, they have only five pieces. Um, base, wheels, interior, glass, and body. Does that make five? Well the problem is this has got a removable part so they can't put an interior in it so they have to use um oh well this is opaque but they can't they have to use a shaded window like this so um yeah so here we go this has uh got a different style so let's take a moment here so this was the first edition this was a callback to the original blue with the brown roof rack. Uh, surprisingly, this is the second one. This is a tan one. I like the added decal on the top. Uh, and these have no decals on the on the back, but on just on the side. These had the sandy wheels, same wheels, green roof rack. And then they went to the next standard. Now these have de the the first one and this one have the details on the front and the back not on the side because they went with the traditional um, color schemes uh, to the hail back to the originals which was kind of nice because the, the originals I don't think were painted at all but they have this black blacked out 
uh, windows so then they had uh, you know could have that removal top and now this is another brown one here and uh, then they did this one if you guys remember I did a whole video on this one now this is a premium this has got the real rubber tires um, and uh, you know all in all it's it is uh, yeah that's a metal base metal body they put the interior in it and um, as far as I know they took the interior from this truck and put it in here and then uh, they also have the removable part on the top so with the window so uh, this was a premium uh, you know retailing you know 30 bucks or whatever uh, so that was got that one's got the uh, glass so anyway so this one now is new in that very light light tan roof rack and then uh, opaque colored windows very nice sharp white I like that a lot let's take a look at the base everything's pretty much the same there pretty cool pretty cool obviously no um wow that's kind of a crappy uh paint job on the front but boy that white makes it really stand out and on the back the the plastic windows kind of you got a lot of seams where the plastic doesn't run so well i mean there's the lines for the windows but you can see that there's a crack right there that's kind of interesting but yeah i don't know but yeah, it really kind of cool, changes it up. I, I really think it's awesome. Um, yeah, I, I kind of do kind of like these wheels, so kind of really kind of cool. All right, let's get after the um, Matchbox uh, interpretation of a roof rack. Same card art, they don't uh, switch it, but they do do their, their um, roof rack on the card. They don't do the traditional ones, so kind of cool. All right, we got to check out these wheels. Okay, I think they're all right. They were just kind of, they were just uh, kind of jammed up there. That's all right. Okay, all right. So here we are. So that's the uh, Matchbox. Let's just take a look at these side by side, so you can see the difference. You know, so really kind of cool. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. I like it. Uh, same kind of thing. Now this one's painted a little bit better on the front end than this one. This one kind of on the left there is kind of, yeah, wanting on the paint job there. Yeah, I really do like that they have the uh, bumperettes on the front. Uh, that's a kind of a military thing. Uh, bumperettes they call those. They kind of come up. It's a bumper set up on a bumper to uh, protect the front end, but. Uh, very very nice i like it a lot i think isn't that i think that oval is green isn't it yeah so we got a green oval black yellow uh i think that's you want know three or four colors there so really nice one two three three colors i can count my colors while i'm talking all right but yeah there it is same kind of thing very very nice i don't really think that they do any kind of difference um these were produced uh oh yeah there well this one this one doesn't have a date stamped on it and this one's got the date stamped on it or the time you know the the week they go by well there you go what's up with that what's up with that so there you go ladies and gentlemen very very nice I like it a lot, uh, and like I said, I've been able to get quite a few of these. Matchbox lately, and mid-central Wisconsin has been good, good, good to me. Uh, Dollar General, uh, uh, Dollar Tree, Walmarts, they've been really good. And like I say, I got quite a few of these from John from our uh, Diecast Club Meet over in Nina, the Fox Valley Club Look at, see how that's cracked? So what's happening is that plastic isn't flowing very well or melting very well, so it kind of makes a crack. Hmm, I don't know if that's, you know, I mean, the, the thing's 94 cents, you know, I mean, it's not going to be perfect, you know, but yeah, it's kind of a, yeah, 
So there you go. All right, we got to get out of here for a one of Wednesday. Thank you for joining me very much. This is your friend Dano, and I want to remind everyone. Yep, that's right. Slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.